I am back at it again. You know who it is. It's your boy, Uncle Daddy Luke, Lucas Invader, Lucas Hunter. Back at it with another video, and it is literally minutes after I just finished the last video, and I had so much fun with my steel deck that I just ran. I thought that, you know what, I'm going to cheat myself, and I'm just going to run more games with my steel deck, and I'll figure out my normal and thunder deck sometime else, but I for sure want to try and get the rest of these Poke Coins, the rest of these Lightning Bolts or whatever points to get the Poke Coins, to buy some packs, to get some Zashi and Vs, because that would just be the icing mwah, on top of the cake to finish off this deck. I definitely probably won't get it in the next four decks that I'll possibly be able to buy with. But a man can only hope and he can only dream. But like I said in the last video, if you watch it, it's a little longer. So hopefully these matches don't take too long, which they might, because I think that's just how this deck might run. It takes a while for it to play out. I just had a lot of fun with that in that last match. I just had a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. I can't stress it enough. So, and I think honestly that was one of the best matches. Even though I lost it, the one match I played when I created the steel deck, it was just so fun, man. I just, you know, it was engaging. Uh, I don't think I would have had it any other way. But uh, let's. I mean, we can't. Start. I thought that was uh, the regular magma might. But it's Magneton, so we're going to have to start Mel Metal. And we're going to Jasmine on the first turn. And since we have Evolution Incense, we don't have to use Melton, I mean, uh, Mel Metal, as one of the cards we can get with Jasmine. Oh, man, this, this deck, man, this is, oof, this is my flavor. This is just <laughs> really, 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 really fun. And as of the recording of this video, it is now Sunday, 3 o'clock in the morning. So you can just bet how much fun I've been able to have with this deck. So let's not even waste any time. Let's go ahead and Jasmine. And look at Mel Metal. So, Mel Metal. Okay, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, and you know what? Now I think about it in that last video, I should have had. I shouldn't have started. Uh, what's the column? But it's okay. Who are we going to get? We're going to get with you. We're going to get you. And. Uh, Kabalian EX is in my prize cards, huh? Interesting. Okay, that's fine. No biggie. No biggie, no biggie, no biggie. So with that, we're going to do this, and we're going to do some of that, and I'm just having so much fun. This is really, really fun. So what are we going to find here? I think we're going to get... Cynthia, we might as well get Cynthia, because once I evolve everybody, I, I, I'll be ready to throw away the hand anyway, so let's just go ahead and get this double white energy card on him, just in case he does something crazy here. All right, cool. And you know what? I think I did it on accident anyway. I ended up getting uh, Mel Metal and Magnazone <laughs> with Jasmine, now that I think about it, but it's okay. Hopefully, uh, we can get an Ultra Ball and we can get him out of there. What does this card do? I might have seen it. Oh, well, I might have seen it before. Let's look. Ooh. Ooh, that's tough. That is tough. I'm not going to lie to you. So, let's do that. Let's do this. Let's get energy on. Mel metal. And you know what? I don't think I want to waste any more time. I think I might just go ahead and Cynthia here. I'd be kind of scared. But I mean, it's going to take them a while before they can get that Tyranitar and Mega Sable Eye started, right? So I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait. I'm going to wait. What is it going to let me do here? 
Oh, okay. Oh, that's how this ability works. You can discard uh, metal energy from your hand. Hmm? Well, I didn't have a metal energy in my hand. Why did it try to let me use it? Pokeball is just so useless. She might as well run an Ultra Ball instead. He's running the Dodrio like I used to in my first deck. Nice, cool. Uh, this Abysmal Sleep is going to, oh my God, I wish I had this card so bad. But it's okay. Uh, Let's see what we do here. So let's go ahead and do all of this. Let me Mount Coronet. And let's see if we can get some energies in our hand now. I think I, I want to save it for, for the Ponyard. Uh, a Bishart, but I mean, it's not really needed to be honest with you. So, no biggie there. He doesn't have any V Max in his hand. Mm. Okay, what are we doing here? You know, I don't think I waste my. Who do I get here? I think I get rid of these two cards, to be honest with you. He doesn't have any VMAXs, and I don't need any supporter cards right now. I don't think I do. Um, how about that? I don't need to put any more metal energies on my Pokemon, I don't believe. So we'll just wait on that with the uh, magnetic circuit, of course, right? So we'll just see what he does on this next turn before we commit to putting energy on everybody. We were able to get that Bisharp anyways. Nice. Who is he going to put out here? Is he going to start with a Lowland Rattata? I'm sure he is. The best play, I would think. I think it's still his, his best play, honestly. Uh, he's definitely going to get Dark Ride started first. That Mega Saber Eye and Tyranitar is kind of a big commitment uh, to do because uh, it takes five energies. That's literally five turns before you're able to attack. So, uh, what does Gigafall GX do? Ooh. I don't know if I like that card a lot. It's not really that good. What does this do? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Interesting, interesting. You know, I should just put that energy in my discard pile instead, huh? Like I said, we're still learning, folks. We're still learning how this deck completely works. So, just in case... Okay, but what does Galarian Stunfish do? Stunfish. Okay, yeah, it's not that great. Um, let's put the energy on this Bisharp just in case because that's literally my only other Pokemon to use. And yeah, let's do this. No, no, no. Let's wait just in case something bad happens. Okay. Now, if I can get my uh, uh, Kabalian EX, that'd be perfect. Ooh. Hey, they were both in there. You know, I didn't even notice. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll be able to get lucky and get two heads. No. I haven't been able to get two heads just yet. Okay, so what do we do here? Can it retreat when it's asleep? No. Hmm. Man, Kabalian EX would have been so nice here. Okay. Um. Okay. 
think I saved it. I'm not gonna lie. Stall. Huh. I actually got the two heads in a row. That's crazy, but I definitely won't get on the next turn. If I do, I'd be really surprised. I thought it was a steel energy. It's a steel Pokemon from your hand. See, I keep learning more and more about this deck every time. <laughs> Okay, nice. But who do we get here is the question. Do we stall some more? Um, I don't think we stall per se. You know, I think we do, just because. And that's just how that is going to play out. Wow, I keep getting it when I don't need it. Oh my God, just wonderful. Just wonderful. But that's okay, that's fine. But yeah, the more I stall, the more I'm likely to be able to get his Mega Sable out of time when it's all started. Um, wow, nice. Okay, cool. So that stalling did pay off for me. Cool. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and Metal Eater one more time. Then I'll just attack. This is weakness. Psychic right. Weakness is fighting. Interesting. Of course, he'll get one heads. I'd be really shocked if I, I was able to get both heads again on the next turn. That, that'd be really, really nice. But like I said, I keep talking about this dark ride. Um, he must have air mail. I keep talking about this dark ride um, prism star, but abysmal sleep, if you didn't know, uh, you have to flip two heads instead of one to be able to try and wake up from uh, uh, sleep, right? So... Uh, that's what's so good about it. Instead of just the one flip, it's two. So, the normal terms, I would have been able to wake up from it, but since I was not able to, I think I'm just going to go ahead and let this uh, uh, male metal be sacrificed, and I'm not going to put any energies on any of these Pokemon. So, I think I'm literally just going to end my turn right here, or I'm not going to because I can just get those energies back, right? Think about it like that, Lucas. Think about it like that. So, what Pokemon am I going to get to make up for? How about we just start with Cosmog, honestly? Okay. So, yeah, I'm not going to do anything crazy. Uh, we will mount Coronet right now. Just because. So let's do that. And nice. Wow, that is literally every single time coming off my turn, I'm able to get both the heads. That's never happened before. I get it when I can't use it. That sucks. Yeah, that airmail was really nice too. You're able to look at the top two cards in your hand. Uh, you get to pick one you want to put into your. I mean, that's on your deck. The top two cards on your deck, you, you pick which one you want to put in your hand. And then uh, uh, the other one is what goes at the bottom of your deck. Yeah. 
Nice. And that was the card he had just draw too from the airmail. It, it's a good card, but I don't I don't think I like playing like that. It's not really, 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 really that amazing. I mean it's nice, especially that with the uh Pokedex, that'd be cool. But uh uh you know, it's not my fault to play to be honest with you. So um might as well throw this Bisharp out there, right? Or do we throw out Galarian Stunfish? I don't think we do that just yet. I think we do that if he's able to... Ooh, decisions, decisions. Okay, I thought it was two cards. I'm sorry, folks. Um, let's do this. Let's just put our... You know, there's literally no repercussion if I put it onto... Of course, it wouldn't be one of my videos if Adobe Flash Player didn't do that. If I put the metal on Bishar, because I'll be able to get it right back if he knocks me out. And if he knocks me out in the next turn with uh, Tyranitar and Sable Eye, I will be in the advantage, actually. Nice. Okay, cool. So I guess it did pay off for me putting that, uh, putting this energy towards this bitch on. Cool. Let's, I just hope I can get at least one energy. Okay, there goes the uh, Bali and GX when I need them. Um, but it depends on if I'm able to get this energy or not. That sucks. Okay. I mean, you invested all that time into him. You might as well, right? Oh, he's not going to. Interesting. So he's going to wait. He's going to wait. I don't think I agree. You've invested all this much time into this Tyranitar and Sableye, all this stock, you know, and into this card. Of course, it has to take it, right? But. I think you go ahead and put him out there as soon as you can. You don't worry about anything later. You just go ahead and do what's best for now. And, you know, go ahead and get this lead or trying to cut down on my lead a bit would be the best thing. But I don't know. You know, maybe he's thinking big brain. Maybe he's got something else in his hand that can help him out too later just in th case things get sticky. But uh, that's just how I would play it. You know, It is a two-player game, so you have to think about what your opponent might be able to do as well. Even though I just have these three cards in my hand, which is honestly not much, but it's okay. It's cool. Hmm, how is he able to do that? Oh, yeah, 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 Dodrio. I'm tripping. Yeah, okay, there you go. Nice. So I just hope I'll be able to get this energy card. I'm going to do the heart of the cards and just put them out there, really. Oh, but you know what? I can at full metal wall, regardless. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm just gonna full metal wall, and he's gonna lose all his uh, energy cards. Oh, I forgot about that. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, my dude. I forgot. I didn't. I wouldn't have been. I would have been, been did this. <laughs> Well, you know, he, he, he just put out his uh, Tyranitar and Mega Sable Eyes. So. Man, you know what? I played two matches back-to-back -back where the advantage was in my favor just from this card. But I ended up losing the last match, so he might be able to do something crazy and still come back and win. But he'd have to do a lot, honestly. He'd have to do a lot. Ooh, that's a bad call, my dude. I think you just take your losses. I think you just take your loss. There, there is literally no card out there for <laughs> him to be able to uh, get those energy back in time before I'm able to KO. There's no possible way. With with a dark deck, no. no. I don't, I don't care how many cards he has in his hand. There, there's no card out there for for a dark deck to be able to get that many energy back onto him. You cut your losses and you start over with Porygon or whoever it may be, but. I don't think that was a very good decision at all. Okay, you get him out of there, I guess, right? But then you're wasting that energy. It has a full retreat. 
Not, I don't know. Oh, nice. Nice with the Dodrio. Oh, nice. That was nice. That's nice. That's nice. Not going to lie to you. Uh, can I mount Coronet here? No, I cannot. So. I should run it like this. Another good match, guys. Hopefully, I'm able to come out with this one. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get five energies, single dark energies in time for me before I'm able to win this match. I'm sorry. You're just not. So, I mean, I'm, unless this whole deck was based around that, but I, I don't know. And it's interesting, you know, from people that I've seen play before, his strategy is to have as many cards in his hand as possible. But from what I've seen, uh, you know, just YouTube videos and the guys online and whatever, uh, they try to thin their deck as much as possible by getting rid of cards. So it's, it's an opposite way of thinking about it because you can't play all those cards. I'm sure he has, if not half of them are supported cards, maybe a third, a quarter of them are. So you're not going to be able to play all the supporter cards, so you might as well get rid of them and find Pokemon cards or regular turn cards to be able to use instead. That's their thought process behind it, but maybe this guy is onto something with how he usually plays. I wonder what his win rate uh, is doing this. That'd be really cool to know. Uh, but yeah, I think he's conceding. GG's though. GG's. GG, 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 GG. So nice. Like I said with the steel date, this match takes quite a while. And I think I don't know if I want to run another game because that was a 20 minute match, I think, right there. And we have quite a few packs to be able to open because we just hopefully got enough Poke Coins to be able to buy this third uh what what are four decks in total I'll be able to buy? And we're going to pray <laughs> for Zashian V. I didn't get enough. Uh-oh. Okay, I got to win real quick. Okay, let's just do dark. <laughs> let's do my dark deck. And hopefully I can get a real quick win. But that steel deck takes quite a while to play with. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. Oh, well, though. Uh, hopefully I can go second or first, whatever. It really doesn't matter because of my EV. Hopefully I'm able to start it first and get this win really quick. Uh, let's go first just because. Mm, nice. Oh, I can't believe it didn't give me enough uh, points to be able to get the Poke Coins. That sucked. It gave me like only 10 points for winning. I got 5 points in the last match for losing. <laughs> You literally gave me half. Ugh, that sucks. Okay. Um, yeah, my dog, this don't look too great for you right now. That's not the card to be starting out with. Prism Stars are in this. But, hey, uh, maybe he can get something in the next couple of turns. That'll help him out, but I, I don't think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, th this might be the quick match like I wanted to. Ooh, nice, Mina. Cool. Okay, so maybe it will be. Um, but I think I'm just gonna dark call. Like I said, I either win mat win fast with this deck or I lose fast with this deck. Let's hope he doesn't have another Mina. Or that kinda would have been wasted. Yeah, I'm just trying to do this really fast, really quick. Ooh, that must mean he does have another Mina. If he's trying to end right now, he's trying to find it. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Or he's trying to find some other basic Pokemon to put on his bench, because, yeah, this might not be the move. Really. Okay, so we do this. No, 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 we hold out. We do this. We do this and this. I don't put on my stadium cord or my EV and Snorlax just yet. 
It has a dark resistance, just right. It's fairy, of course. Duh. Right, and this would have been the uh, 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 guy to play my steel deck against. Isn't that great? Nice. Cool. Man, this would have been the person to play my steel deck against with that uh, weakness. Dang, that sucks. Oh well. Um, I think I do this. Now, do I do strafe or do I? Oh, yeah, he can't use bright horns. Duh. Yeah, GG's, GG's, GG's. Unless he's got something crazy right now that's, you know, nice. Okay, nice. That's a start for sure. But, yeah, he can't bright horns. He can't attack me the next turn unless he finds some Pokemon to put on his bench. This game is over. Yep. Nice. 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 Yeah, with that bright horns, that Xerneas uh, Prism Star, that is not the card you want to start out with. Its ability is when it comes from the bench onto the active spot, you're able to move as many fairy energies onto it as you like. So, like I just said, you don't want to start out with it because you want to be able to just move that bright horns real quick to get that fast KO when you need it. Not start a match with it, with especially a GX card that's going to be able to lift that bright horns the first turn that doesn't have any damage counters on it to begin with. So, with my little uh, professor <laughs> knowledge that I just dropped on you, let's actually go to this shop. And max out on these uh, uh, V decks. Sword and Shield decks, I mean. So, we got four. I think we have. Ba -ba no, no, no. Oh, yeah, we got this. We got this. So, we got some chests, and we got the God of War and Sylveon pack again. So let's just start with the, the chest. Actually. Okay, I just swell. That's cool to throw off your opponent. I don't. I don't know if I just love that. Right? That's, you know, that's a throw off your opponent card. Like I said before, I don't like playing like that. That's cool. That might actually be better than the other gold deck I have. I think I'm gonna switch that. U turn board. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, that's a really good card. I already had it too. That's crazy. This is also a really another good card to throw off your opponent with. So let's go ahead and open the Gardevoir and the Sylveon deck first on the Broken Bonds. And save uh, the hype for last. And <laughs> just in case we do get something really good to top off our skill deck with. If this this card can, if this is if this card is attached to one of your Pokemon, discard it at the end of the turn. Whoa, I've never seen that before. Oh, and I got the Fairy Charm Electric. Nice. Wow, I've never seen that card before. Whoa, what is this? Whoa, snap, that's sick. Oh. Hmm. Cool. Wow, we got some really good cards this time. So with that, that will definitely be my Thunder deck for the next video and my Paranormal deck with the GX card. So this is really what we are here for, folks. Um, boom, click. Gengar, new Gengar. Uh, 
one didn't seem like as good as the other game car I let have, but it might have some uh, some uses, of course. I mean, obviously, any car has uses if you have the right deck for it. Uh, big charm. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, let's see what we get. Lapras. Hmm, what is the point of that? Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, two more, two more, two more, two more, two more. Oh, I was finally able to get Blackie. Robotic? Oh no, this is Rotom Bike. What does this do? Oh, the turn hands. Oh. It's like. What the heck? They do. Ooh. Okay, folks. This is the last deck I'll be opening for this video. We got some really good cards actually so far for future decks to make actually for the rest of the week with the Thunder and the normal deck. So let's just hope and hope we can get the Zashian V. It is what, a uh, one in 100 chance of getting it? Let's see, okay, this is a good sign. Two, two special cards, two rare cards, I mean. We got the obstacle Galarian. Oh man, that might even be worth it. That's worth it. Nice. Oh man. You know what? This has been probably the best decks I've opened, but best packs I've opened. Wow. And look at that Raichu. Wow, this is amazing. This has been the best opening. Hands down. Wow, I can't even be mad, man. I knew it was a slim chance to get the card, uh, Zashian V, of course, whatever. But man, we got some really great consolation prizes anyway. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Well, folks, thank you for tuning in. It's been your boy, Uncle Daddy Luke. If you guys love this kind of content, let me know. What you would like to see next from some different games. Maybe hopefully I can get something shaking with that. But nothing is promised as of right now. I definitely have to do something a lot different to be able to make it work. But it's just putting forth more effort. And I think I'm actually having a lot of fun right now with Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. I've kind of rekindled my fire for it. My flame that I have. Especially too with the Steel Deck and the cards that we just got just now. I think uh, uh, you'll definitely for sure be looking forward to some more content from this game. Especially. But... Thank you for tuning in. Like always, if you're back uh, from watching old videos or you've been watching videos, I really appreciate it. And until next time, my friends.